Well, hello chat. Welcome. <clears throat> Good to see you all here. Welcome aboard to Open Transport Tycoon Deluxe. Everybody can play this game. It's a free game for everyone on Steam. So if you'd like to download it, just check Steam and you know, literally search for like Transport Tycoon and you should be able to find it. It's a free version of the game that came out in 1994. It's the same game, or rather the earlier game, before uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon. So this game really, a lot of games owe their success to Open TTD, or rather, well, we'll just call it Open TTD, the transport game in general, because so many good games came out of Open TTD, aka Transport Tycoon Deluxe. This eventually made way for, of course, uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 and 2, and then, of course, that made openings for Planet Coaster and Planet Zoo, and made games like City Skylines and SimCity what they are today. We'll go back and play SimCity 2013 sometime soon. Actually, I think that game, yeah, it's about 10 years old, so we'll be playing a lot of cool city builders and transportation games sometime in the future on the channel. <clears throat> this one is certainly, uh, you know, old school graphics, but all heart, so it's good times. Uh, we were going to play with, like, um, you know, uh, Jerry and Rick and everybody today, but I didn't see any of my, my good old friends around. Everybody was either busy or just simply not around, if I asked them. Um, but Goof Troop, you know, Jessica B., Morgan, and anybody who wants to play who's uh, been on our community a long time, I suppose you can jump in, too. We'll see what Uthras wants to do, though, and we'll play along, so it should be a good time. Let's check in with him and see how he's doing. This game's a lot of fun, though. Of course, you can build cities by building railroads and stuff inside the city. You can also fund the cities as well to grow, and uh, obviously the more things that you bring to the city, the bigger it'll grow. But you can also fund construction projects like roads and uh, bridges and things like that, and it's a lot of fun. Uh, and a lot of challenge, too. It's a game where you got to have a little imagination, but it like this thing can literally run on a microwave. It's awesome. So, yeah. Welcome aboard. Let's check in with Uthras. We'll get into the game and we'll chill out for a while. Play the candy scenario? Oh yeah, isn't that this world here? Isn't there like a... Oh, Toyland. Yeah. There's a desert, subtropical, subarctic, and temperate. But you can load pretty much any location in the world. I, it, there's even like, you know, real world maps where you could like play in the Netherlands if you wanted to, but then mix it up with completely different cities and different locations than where they exist in the right... in their uh, current world. Or you can do hyper-realism, too, and, like, do Japan and things like that. It's really cool. So, anyway, thanks for all the likes. Thank you very much for smashing the like button. Welcome to all the new members today. Thank you very much for subscribing to the channel. And enjoy. You can play this game, uh, you know, free forever at any time. So, if you want to chill out and get a cup of tea and cozy out, go right ahead. We're going to be playing with a lot of mods, though I don't know anything about the mods. But exclamation point Uthris in the chat. Uthris is live streamer right now, and if you'd like to ask him some questions about the game, go right ahead. All right, let's check in with him and get started. Oh, let's see. Hi. Hey, Dino guy. How's it going? Oh, pretty good. I'm Just excited. Setting up my first little oh, route here. You know what I wanted to do? Actually, did you get a chance to look at the uh, the trailer for this game? I did not. Well, you. Oh, I thought you said you you looked at it. I need. I I needed to. Um. I want to but... watch it real quick because I wanted to see the. Like, the, you can build multiple stations and stuff now, or whatever it is. Well, that's it's, it's, been a thing for years. Yeah, so. but, but that's new to me, because I haven't played in, like, two and a half, three years. So this is all oh. new. It's basically a whole new, fresh game to me. So I'm going to wa watch the intro, and then I'm going to jump in with you, and then we'll, we'll see if we can build beautiful train lines. I mean, we won't be as good as Strombi, but, you know, we'll try. Strombi. Or Elmox. Oh, yeah. I invited him, too. I didn't get a response, but we'll see. All right, chat, let's go ahead and watch this trailer, and then we'll jump in. Ooh, look at some of those. Uh, they look very beautiful, the canals and stuff. See, that's new to me. Where you can build stations and stuff that look like this. You weren't able to do that the last time I played this game, which was like five years, three, four years ago. Well, may as well be five. Boom. There's horses? Oh yeah, there's mods to go like back to horse and buggy to- oh bro. 
Wow, dude. That's the Netherlands right there. A canal, a bunch of windmills, and a railroad going along the side. Dude, this game is Cozy Factor 9000, dude. Yeah, dude, imagine if like people were playing in a world that's been going for years and just interconnect. Look, look at these beautiful... This is what I want to create, is these just gorgeous... Um, takes a lot of mods to get to this point, but I mean, th this has its own... I could only dream of this when I thought of SimCity back when SimCity 2000 was a thing. Like, this is cool. Look at this. There's like a port here, and these boats actually have to go through a lock system to get up there. That's so damn cool. That's so damn cool. Wow. Wow. And then, yeah, there's, like, a whole map of, like, the uh, British Isles and Ireland and, like, wit. Wait, is the Isle of, yeah, Isle of Man and stuff are there? Look at that. That's so cool. That's so amazing. Oh, and it actually spreads out over time. I think we're going to be playing without planes on. That's a little too easy. But look at all these old cities, all these different mods and stuff. Ah, oh, it's so good just to look at. I just love it. I love that so much. I love that so much. They should add some of that to City Skylines. I agree. I wish there could be more multiplayer aspect to to uh, City Skylines. I can see that being cool. All right, I'm ready. I I was gushing about this trailer, Uthris. I love it, dude. It looks like they were using a lot of mods. Are horse and buggy in the game by default? Um, because they literally showed it in the trailer. I used to have to use that for mods. I don't know if they recently changed it to allow more historical. The default game start is 1950. Oh, really? Um, they must have added more to it. They, they might have. I haven't tried going backwards. Usually without mods, right? It just... There's nothing to buy, so you're just sitting there, right? Yeah, the um, default game is 1950. I mean, I don't know if you started a game in 1850 or 1800, if you could do that. I mean, what well, is the... Can. When does the tall ship stuff start? 1700s? Yeah, so I've started a game before that started at the year, I think, 1740. Oh, wow. And so... Ashley had the Concord by day four. <laughs> <laughs> no, she didn't play that one because she couldn't have buses going around. The, the wagons are cool and all, but they're so inefficient, right? That, like, you're just better off investing so much in a big, you know, fleet of ships. True. Because that's just where the money was at the time. Right. Um, that's like the backbone and then trains unlock right and then you're just like alright finally can start moving more inland yep alright first two ships I've already spent half my money down okay I'm just gonna on two ships oh I you, spent half you added money. new stuff okay I added one thing I think the snow line mod yep that's the thing dynamically changing the snow Ooh. on the map it does kind of create it some some minor stuttering every now and then, but it's it doesn't last too long. So. Same password as last night. Yep. Same same everything. Okay. Game pods connecting clients. Oh wow, you're my client. How much are you paying me? No, you pay me. I'm your oh. client. That's how business works. I'm I'm pretty sure if if. if Huh? If you're my client, you know, I am Ooh. providing something to you and you have to pay me. Right? So, yeah, you're joining in August, so you missed some of the summer months. So the snow is actually just now coming back in some areas. In August? Yeah. Is it like the Alps here? Holy hell, this map is so spread out. Are these yeah. real world locations? No. Well, it's, it's a real it's world the map. Baltic sea, it's the Baltic Sea, it's the Black Sea. It's some of the Mediterranean, um, but all, all the locations are random, randomly generated. Wow. You love me? Here well, thank at, you. like, Estonia, I think, around, in the Baltic Sea. Where's that? Um, top left, in that little inlet. I can't zoom out far enough to, like, see what I'm looking at, you know? Yeah. You're in the top Look. left in the inlet. Oh, up here. Yeah. And my first my first fishing boat's coming back. So hopefully it'll make some money. I hope it makes some profit. I have no idea. Dude, the roads and stuff look so good. 
Mm-hmm. I mean, man, I love that detail. Chad, this is like... Uh, if, we, if we had this level of detail for... Um, Roller Coaster Tycoon when it I mean Roller Coaster Tycoon blew our minds, but damn. It would have killed people if it were if it were this graphically uh, advanced. So what okay, so it's nineteen fifty, so we're doing everything but planes, right? Yeah, we have I buses, have planes we have boats. actually fully turned off, so you can't even build planes if you tried. Um A no fly zone. Yeah, this is a no fly zone. Yeah, the map's called the Baltic Sea or whatever. But but the uh, Eastern Europe. Yeah. But the cities will be different. They're, like, randomly placed on the map. Is there war or natural disasters? No war, but natural disasters can ha be turned on. I don't think I have them on right now. I think I found where I'm going to set up my base. Can we change the names of cities? You can. You can click on them and then uh, hit the little <gasps> pencil icon. There's freaking construction going on. Oh, the oh, it's a junkyard. Oh, they take scrap metal. Oh, there's new items. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, we're using completely different industries than default. Dairy plant over here, too. Oh, this must be a dairy farm, then. Yeah. Oh, my God, this is amazing. Yeah, Uthris is streaming as well. If you guys want to watch him, exclamation point, Uthris. There's something. Exclamation point, something. Yeah. A cider mill? What? Dude, these buildings are gorgeous, too. You know what? I might... Can I change this? All right, I'm gonna Game I'm gonna start. Options. Chat, we're beginning. I'm building here at. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna change the name of this town. Wait, I can't. Oh, I can't change town name. Oh. You can't. No. What's, the, it, what's it say? Uh, it's just grayed out the little pencil. Unless you change it somewhere else. Did you start a company yet? Oh no. Start a company first. You you you're in spectate mode. How do I do that? <laughs> um. Click on the guy. Oh, there it is. New company. Yeah. Okay. Raptor Transport. Give, give it a name. You know, I am I am part of... Uh, my president is Uthris. Uh, Uthris Rail Co. Incorporated LLC. Oh, you're a limited liability corporation. Well, yeah. You, you gotta be have limited liability. You know? I, I have no liability. Yeah. And the state will pay for my mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> You've been playing too much uh, workers and resources with that attitude. No. If it were the other way around, the people would pay. Got him. Isn't the government the people? Clearly you were not watching the stream. Not an actual fan. Oh, wait, wait. You had no populace anyways. Uh, yeah. Not yet. <laughs> Soon. Alright, I need more. <laughs> the starting character. I need more general income. It's pretty, it's pre uh, it's pretty accurate, chat. He requires food. Wow, look at, look at these. Uh, I mean, you know. Okay. Can you not have a beard in this game? Uh, you can only have a mustache. Remember, this what? is the 90s. This is the 90s. There's <laughs> My... Working men did not have beards. Okay, back in the 90s. My character right here looks like he's like asking someone to step out of the vehicle. Sir, for me right now, okay for me, I'm, sir, I need well, to step out. You can out. give him aviators, and then they're really asking you to step out of the vehicle. Really? Can you do more? Yeah. Sir, okay. 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 First year has come by. I oh, have great. lost $154,000. I lost $300, and great. all I was doing is like being born. Yeah, well, you know, it's just normal interest rates. Oh boy. I'm just gonna create this guy. Alright, let's change our color. Oh, you can have liveries on the side? How do you do that? Oh, I mean, it's just the default colors um, of your vehicles. You can also change liveries based on vehicle type. Yeah, if true. You want to do it that way. I have it set to company wide just so it's a little bit easier to see what's mine versus yours. And I'm kind of dark green up here. How do I... Ch like, I see color scheme, but is there just a way to change everything? Uh, that's color scheme, I think. Yeah, but I can only... I can only make it pink. Uh, I don't like blue or something. So, the... The left... So there's two drop-downs in color scheme. 
Yeah. Um, are you selected on your person icon? Yeah. Okay. And then the first drop down should be anything there that you can choose. Is it all just grayed out? Oh, I see what you mean. Okay. Ah, there we go. Okay. I like a nice blue. Just just a nice blue. Just going with a nice blue. I'm going to build my HQ. Alright. Oh, I haven't done that yet. I need to do that. Yeah, I got like a little trailer. Too bad I'm not living in a van down by the river. I mean, you might end up doing that depending on how well your business does. No way. You'll find out, right? Oh, dude, the end of the road's cool. It just turns to gravel. Oh, the details. The detailing. Also, we have new bridge options and everything, too. Ooh, a nice wooden covered bridge. That's pretty. There's a wooden bridge? Mm-hmm. I know, chat. My company's worth a dollar now. We've made a dollar, I think. Yay, subsidies for the government. Okay, why is this thing not producing food? I guess I'm not sending it enough fish. Yeah, I need more fish. That's pretty fishy, dude. It is. All right, we're sending out two boats now. To these locations. In fact, this one's probably going too far away. These these boats are almost slower than some of the oh, tall ships. I still can't oh, name the town. Oh, well. Still can't? No. I wanted to name it something nice, like Crescent Ridge or something. All right, we're going to start a little bussing company, chat. We'll do some bussing. I'm going to get the members' buses going. Chat, member bus lines I can't turn the members. graphics up any higher. If I turn the graphics up, I'm going to need to go get a, like a 4090, okay? I don't have that kind of money. <laughs> <laughs> dude, look at the... Dude, they even put, like, non-passing lanes and stuff on the road. Yeah. It's not just dotted line the whole way. That's that's fascinating to me. Yeah, no, that's that's a mod. So it's called like uh, American Roads. The mind melting mod. Yeah. So where where's where's your HQ at? Where where are you building? Uh, it's called a town called Cheedsto, which is way too close to Cheetos for me. <laughs> well, maybe you should have renamed it to Cheetos. Uh, well, I was trying to, but I can't. I'm not allowed. I haven't been, a, 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 you know, voted so you emperor. In, like, Greece, Italy, what? I don't know where I am. I don't <laughs> know. I, I can't. Where is he? Well, remember, remember when you said you were in like a, you were there's I'm, like an I'm inlet. In the Baltic Sea, in the inlet towards Russia. Yeah, again, I can't tell where these are without landmarks. Okay, if you go to the top of the map, right? Okay, I see. You. I see. You. Go left. I, I, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're in Cheeds. Cheeds. Yeah, I tell. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> He's saying hi hey, in I Japanese. Mean, you, know, you, 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 you get it. We're actually, for how big the map is, we're building this door to each other. Well, I thought it looked nice. Oh no, it will. You know, I'll just, I'll just park trains, you know, on your train line and. Blow I have no up. intention of messing with you. I just wanted to make nice, beautiful towns. Oh. Is that what we're doing? I wanted to. I've been saying it the whole time. Oh, oh my okay. god, those tunnels look so sweet, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> Chad, 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 this is how you know I'm just like. I'm just Raptor's crazy. Raptor's gonna go bankrupt before he builds anything. What do you mean? I'm building now. You're, you're paying interest rate every day. Uh, I'm what? I haven't built anything really. You, you're, you're starting money as a loan. Leave me alone. Fine. <laughs> Unsubscribed. Fine. I'll, I'll, I'll abandon this. I, I need every subscriber. I need those. We are changing this guy's route. A 
It's all coming back to me, dude. All this cool stuff. Oh my god. That guy goes way oh, too far. Oh, we can have street cars too? Yeah. Beautiful. See, I don't know what's default in this game anymore because so much has changed and so many street things Street cars are is default. Oh, are um, they? Yeah. I don't remember those in the old game at all. Uh, they're... They're, they're a nuanced thing. They're kind of cool, but like at the end of the day, most people just use buses and trucks. What's the hotkey to transparency on trees? X. That's what I thought. X-ray view. Oh, dude, it's like it's like roller coaster tycoon. Cantilever. Nice. My first. My first ship going, delivering some food. Go cargo ship. Oh, so you have a ship getting fish, and then you, can we have fishing ships, or do yeah. you, or you do you go pick up the fish? Well, you you go pick up the fish. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I have, I have cargo ships going out, picking up fish, bringing them back, processing it into food, and then I have a cargo ship on standby go pick up the food and take it to a shipyard um, with our mod pad shipyard or ports are very very important um, they produce Port and... engineering supplies oh and farm supplies and chemicals and if you're not producing that some of the other industries like mines and stuff you have to provide them with like engineering supplies so that they can actually mine right? really yeah um <sighs> Why does YouTube always downgrade you to 144p? All right, chat. Of all the streams, I don't think it's going to matter much in today's stream. <laughs> this is probably the only stream <laughs> is not going to matter too much. But I want I want to see the beautiful uh, three pixel wide tree. Bruh. Look at these trees. These nice conifers. So how do I make a line now? Where's the button for that? Um, click on the vehicle, press the golden right arrow thing on the side. Oh, you gotta uh, buy a vehicle first? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's per vehicle, right? So make one vehicle, give it a route, and then just clone that vehicle as you need. That's usually how I make a line. Now, once you have a line, I think you can look at them. It's not something I normally do that way. Those trees are clearly four pixels wide. You are correct. Look at that bridge. This this bridge is so adorable. Ooh, ships arriving. Please make me money. Please make me money. Ooh, 20,000. I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, you made 20,000? Yeah, yeah. Dropping off some fish. Ships are a little slow, though, so you have to kind of invest in them in bulk. Make them almost worth it. I like how we have a shoal. We can have ships or a plane go to the shoals. <laughs> yeah, you can have planes like a, hel a helicopter? Again, this is why I turned off planes. But, I mean, how would that even work? Uh, it... It works. I don't know how it works. Uh, it could be bringing people because I think it can. It the shoals accept passengers, so you can do a passengers to the shoals, and I think that will either be like a tourist thing or it produces more fish. I don't remember. Oh. Yeah, I just know you can take passengers out there for whatever reason you can do. That one's at capacity. Let's go there. Here. Go my boat. Actually, what is? Am I, am I doing something silly? What's the? Ooh. What? So so vehicles. Just a reminder. Have a um, reliability score. And right. It's randomly rolled on a new save. So that different vehicles per se oh. form a little bit different. 
Um, so the boat that I have to use for fish is only 80% reliable, which is fine. That's pretty good, but, yeah. But, you know, it's just something I need, I need to consider. So where do... Okay, so you go get fish from a shoal, right? And then where mm -hmm. do they go? They go to a fishing harbor, which is like the port, but it has different boats in front of them. So let's see if you have one near you. I found a port near me, but... And a couple ports... You have a fishing harbor down in between us on the southern side of the sea there. There's a fishing port. China clay. Yep. You can take that to those ports as well. So clay to um, ports will oh, produce stuff. Pleningham, that's where the... Um, I'd go over and look. Let's see. It's also a dredging site. Yeah, dredging site. I think is sand. Yeah, Pleningham Fishing Harbor. You can you can use that one. And then sand, of course. You know everything has the display chain button. So if you want to see where things go. So I need to make a port first, or I need to make a boat dock first to make boats. Yep. And remember, when you place stations and things, there's a button that says Coverage Area Highlight. Turn yeah. that on so that you can kind of see hmm. if it's within capture range. Yeah, I don't know what the mods are, uh, but you can exclamation point Uthris and go bother him about it, because I, I have no idea. He added <laughs> a tons of new ones. I didn't add, like, that many. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, I don't know if I have a road option to make bus lanes chat. That's a good question. Let's split our fleet up a little bit. I think two ships is better than three to one location. Under tons of food. Let's see, ship income per year, 107,000. Not bad. Yeah, Aqua, I'm going boat route. Boat route is usually a pretty safe route to do. Otherwise, you could do buses. Buses usually work pretty well. In fact, I might <gasps> set up a bus route. Dude, the road connects to the port. Oh my god. It's like they've all my prayers. It's like they thought of everything. It's like they listened. They watched the videos. All right, let's connect with that. Town. I love that we can do uh, canals and things too. That cut down. Where do I want to run this road? E Junction. So, what do we use to go pick up the fish? The, the fish you use, now you have to refit it, right? The cargo so ship? You're going to buy um, a Yate, Yate cargo ship and then refit it for fish. A Yate? Yate. Sorry, I'm Japanese mm -hmm. here, so Yate. So you need two ships then, one to bring the, the fish to the dock and then what? And then um, a, the same boat, but fitted for food to take that to a port. Unless you have a port nearby that you can use another vehicle than a barge. Um, no, you would be taking it straight across, probably. So that'd be another boat. Okay. You also might need buoys. Oh, for waypoints. Depending on how far they're going. If they're not going too far, they don't need it, but... And yeah, so the mods we're using, um, we're using American Road Renewal. GPS, Damn right we are, brother. Which is, uh, which is why the roads look so good in American. Absolutely free. Uh-huh. And then we're also using the American Railway, Railroad Renewal Pack, which adds a bunch of different American trains. Um, Snowline Mod, which dynamically changes the snow. Oh, yeah, we're going to see weather map. soon. 
Um, actually, where we're building, we don't get much snow. So if you look a little to your bottom right, you'll see it in the mountains kind of move every month. Because we're, we're kind of coastal, so we're actually pretty low. Um, we're also using FERS industrial pack. So that's why all the industry is a little bit different. We're also using Japanese rail stations. I love this one because it just, there's so many rail station options with that one so that you can do what you were talking about. Um, like you can yeah, make a custom looking rail yard. Modular. Yep. Like just the single platforms, like <laughs> there's so many different var variations of them. That's what we got. Normally, I use like the Japanese train set as well, because um, it has like narrow gauge lines versus standard gauge and things. Oh boy! Okay, making money. Go back here and work on this bus route, I guess. Good. American. Damn right. Tucker hat, brother. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How do we make alcohol? I see I could deliver that to one of my towns. Um, I mean, do you want the West Virginia method or do you want the actual? The end game method. Okay. Um, I think you just have to take fruit to an alcohol distillery. There's yeah, I see here I have a, a cider mill. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, so there's rivers, orchard, and piggeries. So piggeries also have orchards that produce fruit. So you can take that over to there. Man, the stone bridge is pretty too. Is there a way to sh shrink the size of a graph? What do you mean, graph? Well, like, I'm looking at the operating profit graph, but I don't want it to take up, like, half the screen. Oh, I, th uh, I think you can grab the bottom right corner of it and scale every window. Oh, God, that's as small as it goes. Yeah. The, the smallest size is always set on your UI scale. So if your UI scale is set to double, then it's yeah. going to be twice as big. Okay. You know, I love my profit graph, how it goes to the moon and then <laughs> crashes back down to Earth. <laughs> yeah. And then goes back. Well, you know, because you can see the heartbeat of your ships, like, arriving and then mm -hmm. when they're not there. Like, it takes them a month yeah. to go up the up the it, river. It's the coal stokers, you know, they're just having a heart attack <laughs> over there. <laughs> I think we're okay. I'm gonna, I guess, Seening Door might be my, our Lincomb. How can I tell if a Lincomb. ship has stuff on it? Uh, click on it and then click the little text box thing. And it'll give you the details of what's in it, um, how much of the operating cost is, how much profit per year it's done, running oh. cost, all that stuff. Oh, this jerk, he didn't. I'm going to the shoal, but he didn't pick any up. Um, so you might have to set that route to do wait until fully loaded, because the first time he goes to a place, it's going to kind of activate oh, the industry. Right. And then if he just leaves empty, then, you know, I always, for like certain resources, have them wait until they're fully loaded and then leave. Oh man, I need I need a little bit more money so I can get my second. This kind of feels ship. like the predecessor to Transport Fever. Yeah, yep. Uthus, do you remember um, before Transport Fever and before Transport Fever Two, there was Train Fever. Do you remember Train Fever? Never played that one. I know of it. I remember it. in 2014 being in El Mox's like we were on his computer in his bedroom in the Netherlands, mm -hmm. and we were just like oogooing over the fact that like there was so much detail in like the grades. And how like no game had really done that for trains since like uh, uh, like Railroad Tycoon Two or whatever. 
Yeah, this one does, like, if actually grades are impacted. So if you're running oh, a really? train and you go up multiple slope blocks at once, it actually impacts the speed. Nice. Um, but that's just the default behavior of the game. Nice. And no chat, we, we do not have planes enabled. Planes are off. Sorry, Pinto. Yeah. Well, you know, we just we just couldn't afford the United Lounge. Bro, he, he liked a tweet on Instagram that said like ice cream was returning after like two years or something, and there was like a, a debut video of them serving ice cream, the slow motion thing of somebody dumping M and M's onto like a scoop of vanilla with chocolate. And I'm like, Pinto, come on. Are we Turbo's playing multiplayer? We creep. sure are. Who knows with him? Yeah, we are we are playing vanilla chat. Uh multiplayer. Sorry. Mods, multiplayer, yes. It's really the way this game was meant to be played. Oh boy. Slow and go chat, but that's that's what you get with the ultra chill. Mm-hmm. And it gets once once you get certain routes up and running, money is no longer really a factor, so just getting established is the slow bit. Is there an easy way to find out what a town buys by clicking on it? Um, I would... Or is it just easier to do the truck depot? That, like, like, yeah, hover around with a truck depot and you can kind of see what it accepts as you move that around. So I got a dairy factory that makes milk, but like, how do I know... Where does the milk go after that? How do I know the... Oh, the chain. There it is. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it produces food, so it goes wherever food goes. Port Hotel General Store houses. Mm -hmm. Oh, dairy is food. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Matthew, thanks for keeping that. Eighteen months. Wow, eighteen months. Wow, wow. Big supporter of the channel. Ship one is lost. Yeah, it is. All right, I'll have to make some buoys. Wow, you just sound so happy about having to make some buoys. I was just Let's hoping it would that. make it. Maybe I can use this one as a stopgap. All right, go to the buoy, then the docks. You love a bit of TTD? Yeah, it's a pretty, uh, pretty classic game, man. I've been meaning to play this for like a million years. So here we are. Not many play people play this anymore. That's ah, too classic, really. It'll never... It'll never grow old. Like watching Strictoser play this in 2015 made oh, me start yeah. my YouTube channel. Oh yeah, Strict Toaster. Mm-hmm. I can remember he did like a tour of the world or something, right? Like he did a... Remember one of the videos he did, he made a massive world and then like showed everybody afterwards. Yeah, Llama Logistics. Is That's right. Classic. I remember that, yep. Yep. GMC TD-3701 Old Look. That looks pretty good. It's a nice looking bus. Bus. Cool. You can maintain if needed, and then this one. Transfer, transfer. Oh, I love how you can like irritate the towns too. Like if you destroy enough of their buildings, they'll be like, no. Nah. Oh dang, that bus is fast. What bus? It's GMC. The trucks. Or buses. 
Yeah, we're playing multiplayer. You can also play co-op. Two people can run the same company. Mm -hmm. Or multiple people. Which is cool if you have like such a big company that you can have everybody take each division. So you can have somebody doing roads and boat. Uh, you're going to need one person on trains. But you could probably get somebody to do boats and vehicles. Buses are going. Bus. Yeah, we're 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 teaming up with rapper like the good old days. That's true. Bus. All right. Boom, boom, boom. Let's get Depot down here. Get this one involved in the loop. Buses are just great for that. Kind of basic, consistent income. Transfer, take. That's fine. Transfer, take. Uh. Hopefully these things maintain their spacing. That's like the one thing about buses that's hard is the spacing of them all. Oh yeah. Darn. Wait. Oh, somebody's joining? Mm-hmm. Oh, who? Uh, I don't know. Someone from my community. Ashley, <laughs> get out of the server. Nah, that's Aqua. I'm uninstalling. What's up, slow version? Yeah, playing an old classic. Ah, we love this game. It's just, I've been meaning to play this since we probably talked about it <laughs> before or after we came back from Japan a million years ago. We probably didn't. Did we do that? I I think we we play. We've played it since coming back from Japan. Did we? Um, yeah, at least once or twice. Yeah, because I still have the save um, that we were on. Oh. Because we were doing a Japan map. Because we were so hyped about Japan. Oh you mean yeah. It must have been yeah. Maybe some yeah. others. Uh, Alexander, thank you very much for the fifty Swedish kroner, dude. Taxamika. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. That was very nice of you. Oh, what is that? Oh, a house. Where do we get scrap iron for, for the junkyards? A scrap iron is based off of population size of the nearby town. Oh, so it's a passive thing. It makes yeah, it scrap iron. Yeah, just generates scrap, and then you take that, I think, to a mill. And you can get steel that way. Oh, so you don't have to have, like, an iron ore mine. Yeah, that's another way to supply. That's cool. With this, I think I'm making you're money. Part, are you building docks by my fishery? Is that what you're doing? Well, you told me to. I was the only one around. Um, no, there was one in. Uh, Unless he in did between, that. In between, in Plenningham. Yeah, that's called Plenningham. No, you built at Sinningdor docks. Oh, did I? Where was Plenningham? Oh, there's between one. the two, yeah. Oh, there it is. It just might be closer to where you actually want to go. I don't know. Yeah, you're right. I see it now. It's right there. Yeah. You mean? Well, I mean, you can keep that one if you want. Well, there's one know. across from. F uh, free. 
Feedberg? Oh, there's one there too, son of a... Oh wait, now there's one right there. Wait, what? That must have just got built. Yeah, that one by Treading Port. That one's new. No, there's one now, like, literally near where I'm getting the fish. Oh, yeah, there is. Wow, what the hell? That wasn't there before. There's also one right right above Treading Port where you have that other dock. How, how do you uh, see your fleet list? Got it. Sometimes the Broken down. just you tell them to it. all go to a depot and then manage them from there. Yeah, I'm going to do that because now i got to reset now that they... <laughs> They've adjusted, you know. They're like, oh, someone's a building here. Well, it's nice I don't have to go that far. All right, got money. And now... What is this? Where sand and chemicals creates... Oh, it's glassworks. Ooh, a glass works. Yeah, fancy. Yeah. Or general store houses. I'm gonna activate these farms. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh, I even have an alcohol distillery. Okay. Hey. Uh, is this it, it made on the same engine from SimCity 2000? Uh, maybe some of the things are the same. I mean, honestly, SimCity and... Uh, and, like, this game and Rollercoaster Tycoon all kind of look the same. Put $50 on Uthris? Nah, me, me and Raptor aren't competing right now. I mean, we're, we're different companies, but... Uh... We have different objectives. Yeah, I want to make some money and then just make a beautiful train line. Yeah, I'm about to do start my first train line. What are you doing? I think, um, I think we're going to be taking livestock. I don't, even, I don't even know if it's going to be worth it to use trains for that. I have the original TTD. Yep. Somewhere. I think livestock and milk is what I'm going to ship out. That's a dairy good idea. Yep. GDQ started today, Uthris. Oh yeah? Anything uh, exciting going on there? I'll have to look. I looked at it briefly. I'll have to look more. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a custom station. All right. That'd be so freaking cool. Um. Wow, the clipper does 128 or 103. My God. Alright, got a little forklift thing. <laughs> We're about to go to prison for this price fixing scheme. Yeah. We're controlling local fish markets. Build that station type for some reason. That's a little weird. Okay, I got buses moving. The one, two, three, four. I hate that little cloud menu that pops up. Cloud menu? Yeah, whenever it's sinking or whatever, it changes to a cloud, and then I can't, like, see my pointer. I could still use it and do stuff, but I can't see. Uh. Yeah. Mm. Do you have the in-game music going? Oh, yeah. I love the in-game music. Where are my sounds? I want to hear sounds in the game. Bro, I have full detail on. Let me check the GPU real quick. Oh, it's holding, boys. It's holding. I better get another cup of water. Put another Let's egg on there. Cool cattle sheds. 
That's what we're loading up, boys. Oh my god, there's sounds. I didn't realize it. Oh my god, there's wind? Is there yeah, wind sound? Yeah, you zoom out. Wow. Pilot Pro, you're willing to sabotage? Well, thank you. I appreciate the support. <laughs> am I am I in danger right now? I feel I feel threatened. You're all fine. Of a sudden. Are you sure? Federal Railroad Station here. Why? Why are you denying me, game? How dare you? I want to try and get my dairy side set up. I have my livestock side of the rail. I need my dairy side. Uh, do I need an end of the line thing? Maybe. Oh, that ship's still coming back? Oh, wow, that's slow. What's up, Jack? How you doing, man? There we go, that looks good. <clears throat> this game will outlast us. I hope you are correct on that. Why are my road vehicles lost? All right, what do you what do you think of that custom station, Dino Guy? If you look like directly south of my area a little bit, so that's a custom one. Uh, where at the Bully the farm meadows? Oh, yeah. that's cool. Uh, is that all? That's all for dairy. Um, yeah, the, the oh. left side is like sheds and stuff, and there's even cow pens there. Oh. And then the right side's for like liquid storage. That's cool. That's really cool. Yeah, the buses say they're lost, but they're going all the way through. Wait, where? Wait. Oh, wait. No, the bridge is there. Oh, there, I see. Thank you, chat. All right, so now we can get the boats working again. My best save, I had a real empire worth 50 billion. Wow. This game's really cool for Certainly like... Certainly sounds like an empire. You can play this game for like an hour or 20 minutes or six hours at a time and it's all good. What's that? A message from Uthris. I mean, Elmox. Oh. And then Ludwig Astrigius vibes. I don't know what that is, but... Uh, Elmox says, I met my parents. If you want, we could do Simrail and stream after open TTD. I'm, I'm just telling them, let's, let's play now. Like, I'm playing Scrap Mechanic later. Are you going to join for that, Uthris? Yeah, I downloaded it. All right, boat. Go to the Exshaw Fish Market and Treading Port. Really? <laughs> Did it plow into it or what? Come on, man. This is just my luck. An inch before it goes into the dock, the thing breaks down. Come on now. One, two, four. <laughs> it looked like it plowed into it. It created open TTT. Oh. Oh, you have uh, Chris Sawyer in chat? <laughs> I wish. Dude, that guy just, like, vanished. With all his money. <laughs> He's just like, all right, I'm done. Good to go. Yeah, the point that uh, 
roller coaster tycoons being given away in cereal boxes, you know you're good. Oh, here comes the snow. It's snowing near me. Ooh, cool. I love it. Nice. Nice. I don't know what I want to transport via train first. Passengers, maybe? Nah. Alright, cow shed. And then... Ooh, could do some farming equipment stuff. Farming equipment? Yeah, there's there's a there's a lot of even just miscellaneous rail pieces for these stations. They're not even some of them don't even have railroad track, right? It's oh, they're not like, like decoratives you can put around. Oh, okay. On a on a grid, so like I can put a couple sheds here, for example. All right, so that's where we're taking cows. He works for Spotify now. That guy, really? Oh. Chris Sawyer? No way. I don't know. I haven't really looked to see what he's doing. Who knows? Oh man! The nice thing too, there's there's um when when you're choosing the train stations, you can go to ISR stations, and if you do like one that's like five long, mm -hmm. you know, um and place it down, it'll kind of auto configure, kind of based off a of theme. This game is so ch like you just need like a cup of coffee or tea and like a blanket and just cozy on over, you know. Mm-hmm. What's that building? Oh, that's what the orchard looks like. Does it look like a bunch of trees? Well, it looks like a bunch of ca uh, pigs. Oh, it's pig and fruit. So. Yeah, and orchard and piggery. Yeah. You play this game once in DOS a year? Oh, good. Yeah, it's a good game. Hmm. I want to transport passengers via ferry. There's a fishing dock there, too. God, there's fishing docks everywhere now. to make this a dual line. Why isn't Elmox making a uh, playing this with us? Um I don't, I messaged him. He said he's at his parents. Oh. I told so him to come play. Well, he suggested like I mentioned he wanted to play like Simrail after. I don't, I don't know if he's I don't know. Hopefully he comes. Got steel truss bridge. Those look cool. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, rail bridges. Fair. How different do the rail bridges look? Come look at that train station. You can see just the steel girder ones. Girder. Girder. That's not gonna work. I need to do. Ooh. The FM train master. Junction like that. FM train, yeah. Uh, is that a passenger one? Looks like a diesel train. Maybe a locomotive. Cheatsto docks no longer accepts food. Well, good thing I wasn't shipping any there. What's up, Chris, bruh? Damn, I want to get passengers here. Engineering supplies. Oh, the uh, mines will take that. Yep. 
and so the port is becomes a revenue stream, right? Damn. Cheaper than building a bridge. place that grows bread is called a bakery yeah you know i see so many little opportunities for businesses like a, a cider thing so close to like a you know like where you can make alcohol or whatever so close well you get more money the farther it goes so this is nice, but farther and faster is the better one. Usually. Yeah, yeah. All right. I think that's a decent little route. Um. Just gonna have two trains on it. Nothing crazy. Need it. All right, let's get my first train here. How expensive are these things? Very. Oh, wow, that's a lot of options. Do I want to do it? Do I, do, do I use coal? 462. What's the most reliable train? Let's just go with that one. 82%, 80, 89, I could think. Lord, some of these are so expensive. Trains are spendy. Mm-hmm. Perhaps building a bridge too far? Thank you, my spies. What? I don't, I don't know. It's just I'm just getting random information. Do uh two eight two eight four is huge. That is a massive train. Wait, what are you uh, doing with your train? I'm shipping one train is going to do livestock and the other train is going to do dairy. No, I'm going to use the 462. I think that's more reasonable for size. Japanese rail stations? That's a Tokyo station, that one. Mm hmm. Modular stations or single? Single's like one side of the platform, and you can kind of put those side by side. It's really interesting. You could. The, the way with the Japanese mod works is you can do uh, a platform, rail, rail, platform, instead of 
platform rail, platform rail, you know, so you can kind of get different looks. Gotcha. Which is pretty cool. All right, cargo, livestock, go to. The one thing that this game needs that I wish it had, like, um, what, Transport Fever is, I, I wish I could designate which line it stops at. You know, if it just goes to a station, it's going to choose whatever's open. Kind of platform, thing. you mean? Yeah, platform. Yeah. Oh, it literally is Tokyo Station. Ooh, first train? Look at that little thing go. I even put a caboose on it. Oh, really? Yeah. Is it just for looks? Um, I'm trying to figure out what the caboose does. Um, I don't know if it's for loot. Uh, it doesn't carry anything. It might add some power. I don't know. Well, oh, that's a nice looking train. Dude, that's so cool. I don't remember... Okay, something I just realized. I don't remember if I set it to allow for trains to flip. Uh-oh. Well, that would have been nice to know a minute ago. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'll find out here in a second. Once damn it, leaves. I just built it. Okay. I'm pretty sure I didn't turn it off. Normally, I do, right? Because I, I like the realism of not just teleporting a train around, but... Fair, yeah. In this case, we'll... we'll... We'll see. We'll see what it does. <laughs> the nice thing too about these station models, Raptor, is they they will actually show um, what's waiting on the platform, depending on if you set it right. Oh, visually. Like mm -hmm. on the on the plate, okay. So passengers will actually be visibly there with the Japanese ones. Ooh. Um, also, I think with these cattle barns, I'm hoping they'll visually be there. The milk, you know, snack kind of be visual, but. Okay, they flip. We're good. Lucky. Oh, man. Such a nice looking train. It even, um, kind of has different color wagons on it. Auto save. Okay, let's, uh,. I think I'll start repaying my loan for a little bit. Oh boy. Oh sweet, this thing actually opens its doors, lets the train in. Doors? Yeah, where I'm taking the livestock, I used a model that's like a covered shed, almost like a train shed. Um, and when the train pulls in, the doors open. Wow. And it pulls out, the doors close. <laughs> 15,000. 17,000 on that. That's good. Is there a way to see a price on something before you build it? Like if, you, what? if you're gonna like terraform, is there a way to? Mm, no, don't think so. Sad. Bridges and stuff, yes. But yeah. A terra base terraforming now. Usually, water's super expensive to terraform. Yep. Um, digging through cliffs, obviously very expensive. Yeah, the cow sheds actually do show cows. Nice. Wow. Very cool. I am excited. 
All right, let's see. What does that caboose do? Since you asked. Um. Doesn't really say. It just. Just for looks, I guess. All right, let's go check Raptor's area and see how he's doing. Money! I made money. <laughs> oh, wow, you went with the Japanese station? Yeah, I thought it was cool. Nice. I've actually never used it. And the fact that there's a statue right next to That's it. That's why I built it, yep. Because <laughs> it looked cool. That looks pretty proper right there. You can't rename this town, really? I can't name any towns. Just grayed out. Like the little pencil <laughs> option. Yep. I'm not allowed. Mm, let me see real quick. I don't want to ban you, so... That's my only option to, for your for your account. Ban user? Question mark? Wait, how big of a tunnel did you make over here? Where does that even go? Just to the other side. Oh, okay. Yeah, the it's, trees were hiding it. I'm yeah. just like... Did he go off the map? Like that was that was a far one. Speed of light in that tunnel. Yeah. Ooh. The EMD SW one two zero zero. New train, Pog. Wow. So it, you, you can immediately tell when it's a diesel train versus like a a, a coal train because it's just like super high tech name abbreviation, you know. EMD GP nine. SD nine. Deep Space Nine. Mm hmm. Subscribe Nine. Yeah, I really like this train. That train worked out. So we'll use a. Uh, we'll use the 462 again. I mean, it's the Pacific. It's a pretty famous train. <sighs> oh, uh, you can see the cost for estimate for terraforming by holding shift while you're doing it. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's actually awesome tip. Uh, I'm holding shift. Not telling me, though. station's one short. <laughs> Maybe I have to let go? Oh, you hold shift and let go and it'll tell you. Cool. Three million dollars, okay. Customizing this warehouse a little bit. There we go. That's some height variation. That looks better. Spot still open? Yep. Wow. Well, at least both of our operating graphs now are off the uh, zero line. That's always good. We'll see about and that. My loan is fully repaid. All right. I now have a company value. Which oh, is good. All that milk. All those cows. <laughs> Ludwig is for Virginia. All right, now I just need to save money, get the second train on this line going. Maybe start involving this other dairy farm.
And then this line will be at basically capacity at that point. Cool now. Oh, hi, Brad Laps. I was going to join during my breaks, but the versions between phone and PC are different. You used to be able to do it. Oh. Well, we're also playing with a lot of mods. I don't know if that would stop you, but maybe. Chat, let me know if the music's too loud. And if it is, I'll turn it up. More music. I was going to do a ferry between those two, but I'm going for trains, chat. Alright, we're going to take this... Food into town. Scrap mechanic later also. This is your lucky day. True. Uthris has not played scrap mechanic in two years. I had uh, some pretty nice builds in that game back in the day. You ever played the survival mode? Uh, two years ago, yeah. I'm not going to remember anything about it. I don't remember anything either. I mean, I remember that you have to build, like, uh... I mean, you can, like, build a food vehicle or something? I don't remember. Yeah, the the goal is kind of, like, grow crops, protect your crops, take your, your crops to the store, drop them off, buy yep. things, craft stuff, make defenses, you know, cool vehicles to gather. That's gonna be cool. Bradford, you gonna join us later for Scrap Mechanic? Let's get this food van. What the? No. Start with four. See if that works out. Mm, a lot of you coming in and saying you re remember the game. And that you're surprised we're playing it. Yeah, for sure. Oldie, goldie, yeah. That's one of those games where it's like, you know, you have transport fever, but this game is like... Multiplayer? <laughs> that's true, but also it's like some games is kind of... Because they're not as advanced graphically, they're advanced in more of their gameplay. So yeah, multiplayer, but... Also, like, the map scale is gargantuan. Mm -hmm. Like, you can literally do the world. Yeah, I know, Chad. It's no sim ant, but it'll do. Rating here 46%. That's not great. I mean, I could probably get a second train. Is that the dairy report? Mm hmm. There's my cargo lines looking. I wanted to use a ferry here, but this town is too far back off the shoreline. You've been playing this game since 95? Hell yeah. Good. Yeah, when a game is old, but it's good, there should be nothing stopping you from playing it.
The mod community for this game is pretty big too, yeah. Well, it's nice that people can like competitively play or, ah, uh, you know, I, I feel like most people just play for fun and whoever wins, whatever. Well, at a, you know, again, at a certain point you just have so much money that like, yeah. no one's really winning anymore, right? It becomes like a fun rule. Like, it's, it's about the rules at a certain point, like no airplanes. 1701, no airplanes. <laughs> Air travel is banned. UFOs banned. No, no. Okay, so we have food going that way. What if I bring food this way? You see Dr. Phil on the menu bar? Yep. Dr. Phil's up there. Yeah, if you need counseling because your train lines aren't working real well. <laughs> if things are going rough, you can you can take it to the ranch. Dr. Phil's got your back like that. What? Dr. Phil's got our back like that, you know. He's just very helpful. Hell yeah. <laughs> Uh, my road vehicles are losing profit. That's sad. Yeah, me too. Mostly just the buses, though, and it's only like three, four hundred. Yeah. Well, I had them set up as transfer lines, so. Yeah, I was going to do that, too, with a ferry. I was going to have a ferry transfer them to a bus. But then I thought, no, this is a good excuse to build a rail line. Because if I don't start a rail line now... You know how long it takes. I have 1,700 passengers at some of these stops. I need to increase my buses, I think. Wow. When are we going to play Project Zomboid together? That is a good idea. I would like to start one. Um, I guess whenever the next update is out and we'll have Brad... We'll, we'll get a big old dedicated server. And I've had experiences with lag a lot in those servers in the past. So I want to make sure we get no lag, because I've gotten killed a few times to lag in that game, and it really... I don't mind if I die because I was dumb, but like if I can't like swing or change weapons or something because there's a lot going on. Like when we did the mall raid, it, that was a bad idea. I just didn't know it at the time. Anyway, Shoot. the wrong thing. we'll play together. We'll have Uthers join us. Yeah, I love me some Zomboid. We'll get you in for a mandatory. Why don't I use hotkeys? Because I don't know what they are. And I'm just chilling. You're a pro raptor, don't I? Alright, let's buy that, and then... Cargo type... Milk. I don't have enough money to buy a caboose. Are you are you quitting the game now? You admit <laughs> defeat. Yeah, you win. GG. Yay. You, you can you can buy my company out now. Uh, Negru says. Uh, I wanted to tell you that I love your Metal War Assault Squad 2 defense videos. You're a big part of my childhood. Love you, man. Thank you for watching. Another video just went up earlier today on... Uh, it's it's uh, Call to Arms Gates of Hell, but uh, everybody keeps saying like one game is better than the other, and to me it's just like Call to Arms is just an updated Metal War again. Like if they made a Metal War Assault Squad 3, it would... Uh, anyway. Aren't they already doing that? Thanks Making for watching. War? Yeah, but it's uh, not Assault Squad. It's like Metal War 2. So I think it'll be a little different. 
Doesn't Rob work for them now? Or like mm. Rob Realism? Well, Sir Hankel does. He makes missions for Call to Arms, Gates of Hell. Rob might work for them, I'm not sure. I don't know what he did. Oh, I, I think he was in like the Norwegian military for a while. And I don't know. But I appreciate the realism. I think that inspired, uh, you know, Call to Arms and stuff to be a little bit more realistic. Yeah, the, the realistic ranges really made, made his model really fun. Am I getting some gray in the beard? Mm. I'm only an old man now? Maybe a little bit. I think it's more lighter hair there. I don't know. Each gray hair is for every thousand subscriber. Damn it. What's our food trucks doing profit wise? Why did I get rid of the Fortnite command? I did I? Do the commands even work? Wait, type in exclamation point Uthris. I see the night bots in chat, but are commands down? I'm gonna redo my bus route. Oh yeah, it works. Huh. <laughs> I don't know. Chat, you behave or I'll play Fortnite. I'll do it. Who are you hurting more yourself or them by doing that? You know, Fortnite, uh, I'd like to, I don't know, I'm thinking about doing Roblox this year because of some weird games I've seen that are cool. There seem to be like a lot of simulator tycoon games in Roblox. I thought it was all just like weird kitty knockoff games or something. I, I had no idea what Roblox was. I think I've played it before, though. I'm pretty sure. Ooh. Yeah, ooh. Nope. Milk train, go! Shouldn't we have gravy trains at this point, Uthris? No, they're milk trains, right? Because we're just milking people for views. Nice. Balance sheet. What's making me more money? Trains or boats at this point? Ooh, trains are almost up to boats. You thought that was an ad pop up at the bottom of the screen? Oh yeah. I guess it kind of does creep up from the bottom like that. Okay, only thing I'm sad about Uthris is how the depot is like the one by one square. Like the vehicle depot or the train depot? Terrain depot. You don't have to make it like, you know, it's not like 3,000 miles long. We'll just add random station blocks around it to make it look pretty. No, I don't think you I You can make it look longer. Uh, your mic was on? What? Okay. <laughs> not Nani? Nothing. Boom, boom. Yay. All right, so now we can buy a train and ride it. Ooh. <laughs> Alright. Reliability 99%, damn. Wish Pinto was that reliable. Pinto? Yeah. You know, showing up late. Because he couldn't have his warm compressed towels. <laughs> it's totally true. <laughs> it's totally true. It does, right? 
Is there a way to tell a train length? Uh, when you're buying it? It's the far right number when it's like in the depot. It'll say like four point whatever. Okay. And that's how many tiles it is. Or like one point whatever. Oh, what's the difference between a lightweight, heavyweight car? Uh, probably the weight. <laughs> but that's it? Then why, had, why, would you, why would you ever buy the heavyweight car then? Well, you gotta go for that heavyweight champion of the world, right? I mean, the the heavyweight probably carries more, if I had to guess, too. Nope, both are 40. Oh, well, then, uh, I have been proven wrong yet again in my life. Yet again. Yo, Andrew, thanks for the uh, one year as a Raptor Hatchling. Congratulations, dude, on the uh, one year of big O support, dude. Thank you. Look, chat, don't make fun of me saying probably New the member, weight. Welcome. It's, it's literally true. All right. Just speaking truth to power over here. Everyone doesn't believe me. So who else is playing Scrap Mechanic? Anyone from your side? Yeah, Yumi, Lumberjack, maybe one of his friends that he's okay, played with before. Yep. Mark on. Um, I may, maybe Almox if he's, uh, I, I don't know what his deal is. A few people seem interested. I don't see mail under the trains. Are we not able to haul mail? Oh, there they are. Oh, it's just not in alphabetical order. That's weird. Yeah, uh, if, if I'm looking for a specific thing, I use the drop down for freight type, right? Yeah, it just wasn't alphabetical. Weird. Okay, maybe I should start introducing this. Wait a minute, Uthris. You said you couldn't well. designate platforms? I see here where we're, it says far end. Far end just means where they park on the platform, so... Far end means it's going to pull all the oh, way to the end. I so, see. like, if you have a station that's 20 tiles long, you know, but a train that's only four tiles, it's going to go all the way to the end and then park mid or early for small trains might be better. You know, kind of depends on what's going through. Dude, these trains can haul. Oh, now i got to set up the... I forgot... Got to set up the block sections and oh, sidings and things like that. This is only like step one. Apparently this train is lost because it's not connected. All right, we're changing the layout here a little bit. And that train is hauling ass, though. All right. So it looks connected. One-way roads. Yeah, this is the same dev that made Roller Coaster Tycoon, yep. So in a way, this is like loosely tied to like City Skylines and all the games that we're playing today. All those devs probably grew up with either watching their parents play this or some inspiration to go into these games. Look at that. One way roads are so powerful because it allows trucks and stuff to pass others. If How they're so? slow. <laughs> oh, some snow. Yeah, 
Yeah, maybe we'll play. Uh, there's probably Roller Coaster Tycoon. I'd like to play uh, Park Architect with Uthris sometime, actually, and work on a park uh, together. I don't know if I uh, can ever play a theme park game again. Because it's the closest thing to uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon I can think of. I mean, outside of playing like the open source Roller Coaster Tycoon game. Cannot reach treading port bridges. Why? Wait, why can't it reach there? Uh, where? What are you doing? Well, I'm trying to get this train... Unless I put it on the wrong track. What train? Well, I have a train that's running back and forth, and it's just not going to where I want it to go. Like it's not pulling into the big station there? Yeah. Like the, the line on the top, it, it can't go in there, but I, it, it's connected. See, I feel like this is maybe why I didn't use that station before. Raptor, that structure's... That building is just a structure, not a station? How come it gave me a station stop, then? Um, because it is a station, but I don't think technically... Even though there's rails inside of it, I don't think technically the trains can go inside of it. What the hell? What? Why? Because it's like a decorative station piece. But there's rails in it. Eh, what do I know? Then why did it get it? Gave, it gave me a train stop. Well, because you place a station, any station piece will do that by default. Um, I want my money back. Oh, it's gone now. Deleted. Dang. Passengers are gonna ride that long train. No, because there's no station. <laughs> <laughs> oh come on now I can't the, the, the local authority refuses to allow me building a station here are you kidding well, you me you deleted their very beautiful structure <laughs> you, you mean the train that? station I built <laughs> that they didn't want to get on to it's tactical nuke on this town you gotta be kidding me I spent millions of dollars I spent millions of dollars on this. Not really, but this is ridiculous. Is there a way to force them to do it? Can like I kidnap the mayor's daughter or something? Uh, just plant a bunch of trees around the town. Okay, that's start equal. to like you again. So they're just basically asking for trees. Please, trees. Heck yeah, some tractors on my train station. That looks good. Yeah, there's no way to stagger those buses, too, unless you, like, literally tell one to stop. Um, there is a timetable function. I don't know how it works. I've never gotten it to work. But apparently it works. I don't know. Hi, city. Would you like to be connected to the world? No, smiley. <laughs> I don't either. Shut up. Okay. Sorry. You and Siri just get into a fight. I don't know why. I'm, we're not talking oh, turds. I didn't mean to delete the whole... <sighs> Can I buy out of town? Like, what do I do? Um... <laughs> Come back later after planting a bunch of trees. That's all you can do.
Yeah, I could do advertising, but I, I don't know if that's going to change their opinion of me. Of course, I, Mr. B's confirmed. True. I could also blow the bridge out of town and cut off my bus service and let them survive on their own. Building multiple bus platforms on the way to the rail station works always for me. Wait, is that to get their... I want them happy. Let's do that, then... Maybe we can just use a default one for the milk. They built a second statue. <laughs> is it in memory of the train station? No, it's like in victory over me. <laughs> we were buy the rights? Over Raptor. How do I buy Circa the rights? 1957. How do I buy rights, chat? The building rights? That's just like a multiplayer thing. I don't have to buy building rights, I feel. Um, that might be too... Mm -hmm. There we go. Scroll down. Right. I, I can't. There's nothing. Right, let's clone our train here. There's no other options, chat. Nothing I can do. Town's got to die now. Go here now. I can't believe it, dude. You try you try to help people, and this is how they will pay you. True. You're just trying to provide a service. You know? I was bringing food into town. That could stop. You could, yeah. Bridge out of town, you know, those are known to explode. They'll really like you then if you stop providing food. Well, that's, just, that's just a surefire way to win them over, I'm sure. What's not to like? I mean, you can't hate me when you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. But I'm not mad. No, why would you be? No, not at all. <laughs> you're, yeah, you're a bum. You're a bum rock. You're a bum. Come on. All right, two new trains on the line. Where are they going? You're going the wrong way, train. I don't know why you're going that way, but can't believe it. Getting it done. Hey, dude, did you just uh, spend a bunch of money on a train station that we can't use and then destroyed it? Yeah. Oh, dude, we're mad at you. <laughs> How dare you? We know you're trying to build a more modern station so we can travel, but Hold on, let me let me see if I can build a train station there. No, and I'll uh, steal your line. Thanks for building all that rail. No. Here, just just go to the train tool, hit plant trees. I did. Trees, random type, and just spam I did. over. Like how many times? Twenty. Uh, I mean, there's only so much land. Did you, like, did you put a sign here called Dumb Town? No, that was there when I found the Dumb Town. <laughs> <laughs> Local authority atrocious with Preptoria Transport Company. They're just mad because that's why they put up that sign. I mean, you know, you can you can build a statue up in the, in the town for two hundred eighty-one thousand. That'll increase the. Oh, uh... well, they're very poor now. Good. See, see that worked. Look at how many trees you planted. They love you. You might be able to get away with one part of a station. <laughs> just put it down all at once. Don't do it like one piece at a time. So do like a two by however long and just plop her down nope still mad oh well more trees then i i literally i can't put down anymore like it's, it's no no it doesn't matter if you can't put down anymore it'll still take your money so just just keep you just have to keep doing it <laughs> 
Oh, so this is bribes. Yeah. Bribes, bribes, it's bribes, it's bribes, 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 bribes. All right, what do these farms need? Farm supplies. Where do you get that at? Is that from the port? It is. Let's go. What? Uh, send clay here. We could send clay here and then ship from this port to the farms to increase production. Might be a good thing to do. Do you have any fisheries? Stop cheering, you stupid people. Who's, who's cheering? Because... Because the, the train arrived and they were all cheering. Oh! The newspaper was finally like, oh my lord, it's been waiting for seven years. It's like, yeah, if, if the train finally arrived. The Boy, arrive. we're all, and we're all, we're all leaving in our golden airplanes now. Bye. I hope that was Zeus. <laughs> Can I name a train Pikachu? Technically. Okay. Can I name a train Raptor's Hopes and Dreams and watch it, like, just break down all the time? Be nice. I am nice. I'm always nice. There's no other town around here. Holy hell, there's 406 people waiting at this damn station. Sorry everybody, I was busy planting trees on the other side of the canal. Oh, I totally forgot to redo my bus routes. <laughs> They're just... Buses. You wish you were home right now, Bradford? Well, this is what happens when you don't send messages and you're not on on the daily. And we're going to be using these ACF Brill buses. What buses are you using? Oh, GMCs. Um, let me check. Uh, the GMC TD 701, old look. Dumb town. Hey, Baltimore. I, mean, I don't even think a, like, shred of light can get in this town because it's so encased with trees. I mean, at least they're protected from, like, wind damage, right? We'll see about that. I mean, you keep, like, huffing and puffing, but their houses are still there. I think one train can do this. But eventually we're going to connect more trains to this. Did you build a docks here? Someone built a docks here. Could that be the other guy? Uh, that might be Aqua. I just don't know why. My logo's blue, so I mean... What well, is this dark blue? Oh. I don't know why he's doing that. The map is only 2,000 by 2,000. Just only. Just only. Bloop. 
pain if required. There we go. Buses are back. Doing their bus thing. Bus. Do vehicles ever have to return to the depot for maintenance in this game? Or do they only go back to the depot when you order it? Why are there so many damn buoys? What are you doing, Aqua? Buoy. You don't need that many buoys. <laughs> it's just funny. Like, holy cow, there's so many of them. He's doing the, he, he's, he, he has ships going across the whole Baltic Sea. Honestly, I'm impressed. He's servicing the whole area. With ships where? Oh. I don't know if he's making any money. Well, it says he kind of is, so that's good at least. I want to do passenger ferries. All right, this train line is 100% saturated now. All right, well, let's get some more stops, I guess. to here. Nice. Okay, we're doing that. It's gonna make more money. Fuj. <laughs> so many bags of mail. Hey CJ, how's it going? We got people in my chat saying hi, Dino Guy. Hi. Thank you for watching, everybody. Yes, no need to put the stream any higher than 144p. You probably couldn't tell a difference, chat. Well, now, Uthris, I should probably move my bus stop right close to the train depot, right? Your bus stop? Yeah. Um... Yeah, so you can actually connect your bus stop and train depot. Exactly. That's usually the best thing to do, to make sure they're servicing both at once. Oh. Local authorities too mad, whatever. Let I them stay gonna mad. they're going to be mad forever. Yep. Let them stay mad. I have a feeling they don't like you very much. There we go. That's what I want to see. Actually, uh, switch that. Oh. 
There we go. I can't, I can't pass note to Rafter chat. All right. We're not, we're not in grade school. Okay. Pass notes. You, you, you didn't just chat. You're like, you're just like, say hi to Rafter. Say hi to Rafter. You can say hi to him. He has a chat. He sees them. You're going to go say hi to Uthras to say hi to Uthras via Uthras. All right. That's fine. <laughs> I mean, mm -hmm. Go ahead. It would do that. Wait, Bradford says there are planes, but typically they're not too profitable this early unless you have a have hefty investment. Well, I mean, planes are straight up disabled, so there are no planes. <laughs> That's you would, a lie. You wouldn't be allowed to play with us, Bradford. Mm -hmm. You'd be ban pre you're pre banned from the server. I can't believe how this town is like massive, but no other town is even close. There's no town anywhere near it. Well, that's because you're, uh... Is that one that you've been supplying stuff to, or no? No, I mean, just spawn-wise, there's no other town even close to it. Well, I mean, there's a couple that are they're super small. Like 111 versus 3,000. Well, 2,000. Yeah, we can connect that tr town via rail, too. Well, let's see. Yeah, that one would be good, but... Gonna need millions of dollars to build up there. At least I built a beautiful train line so far. Chad, you happy? Happy with the train line? Yeah. It's a nice coastal line. Thank you. Now I'm happy. I got what I wanted. Although I'm uh, disappointed that the bri you know, be nice, Uthris, is if you could pay for a bridge type for the benefits, but change like the appearance. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, yeah, that would be nice. Like I'd like to paint these. Like I'd like to make the bridges red or something. Like they're so the good ones are just gray and boring. You know. But to, I mean, like, like how how fast is your train really going? 177 kilometers. Oh dang! And I so don't know. I, I'm I'm willing to sacrifice speed for uh for looks anytime, every time. Well, I'm glad to, you're kicking your habit. <laughs> I appreciate that. Oh well, yeah. Figured I'd give you an update on my uh, my problem. No problem. Okay, now we can do a passenger ferry chat. I got an idea. All right, and stations are working. We're producing food. Why does every town hate me, dude? Ultimate Twitch Halo Reach intro streamer, Uthris? No, I, I don't think I'm a... How many of you in chat are going to play this or playing this now because you see us playing this? Music's so good, too. Oh, there we go. All right. Do I want to work on my passenger train line now? Should I surface people up to uh, Treading Port? I mean, it might boost your your town. You're gonna what now? What if I were to build a passenger line from my city to yours? You could. I mean, I'm bringing passengers there via bus and now uh, passenger ferry. Forgot to build an HQ. Still? Yeah, it's built now. It's still a trailer, even though my company value is 1.5 million. That's fine. All 
All right. So let's see. Train route over that way. How is this going to work? Oh, right. Tra uh, that's right. Trams. I have trams. That's a good point. Oh, or did you end up using them? No, but chat reminded me that I had them. But I was busy building a passenger ferry up the coast. Oh, yeah. Tr a tram would be perfect between these two towns now that they're growing. I mean, that's, I, I guess you could do that. Start by... Start with bus services because they're cheaper, and then eventually work up to tram. Yeah, I just don't know if it if they're faster or what. I just never mess with trams personally. Mm. All right, we're gonna make a train station at this hotel. They probably have a bigger um, initial cost and then lower running cost because you know electricity versus fuel maybe and not having to worry about tires you know what I mean oh yeah, yeah. you grew up playing this masterpiece of the game back in 1997 good game man well you know the open part of it came out in 2004 and I remember playing it on Steam for the first time, like in 2009 or something, or 10 I found it, and I was like, no way, dude. But it's nice that everyone can just play, mo it's very chill. Like, everyone can be, <laughs> you can be on opposite sides of the map doing completely different things and yet have a good time. Somebody could be doing buses and ferries, and you could be doing trains and never cross each other's paths, but you can watch what each other's doing. It's cool. Transport Tycoon is awesome. It is. It's a really good game. It's a good classic. I just wish... Could you imagine if we could build a... I would love for Roller Coaster Tycoon to be on a bigger scale. Like, you know how in Roller Coaster Tycoon you could see the towns and stuff? That'd be cool if you could, like, see a little bit more of that. Yeah. More of a city. Um, and, you know, that way I can build more parking lots. Yeah, build with buses. That always interests me. Uh, people always come in via a gate, but they never deal with the outside services. That's why I respected you doing that, because it's like, sure, you have a thousand people in the park, but do you know how much logistics that is? Bus, train, tram, parking well, When lot. I went to Universal Studio oh, over right. the weekend, or the, the holiday, I was I was pretty impressed with just their... Honestly, their parking lot was like pretty impressive. They got people <laughs> in and out of that thing like it was nothing. Ooh, parking lots. Mm-hmm. We all know the way to my heart is a good parking lot. It's true. Stone bridge. There we go. That looks pretty. The docks have a parking lot to them. Does that mean the buses can park there, too? Do they have like uh, a built-in no, stop? You, but you can just put a bus stop next to it and start bringing people to it. Oh, uh, okay. Alright. Lacombe Bar and Grill and Rooms. Alright, let's let's rename that. That's uh <laughs> Hard Rock Cafe. <sighs> yeah. Rename that. Look at that, little boat's coming up my canal. From Aqua. What's he bringing? Oh, dude, does he have to pay to use that? No. He's just bringing people up to my town for some reason. Alcohol, food, and goods. Alright. Let's get these guys some booze. Alright, we're gonna tunnel... Underneath this whole town. That's the only way to get this across. Oh yeah, 204 length tunnel. Let's do it. Hey Kurt, how's it going? Hope chat's having a good weekend, man. Weekends are great. I agree. <clears throat> We're gonna be playing some cool games today. Relaxing. Um, 
How close does like a truck depot need? Do they have to touch to transfer? Um, so they have to touch at least on the corners. Okay. So when you look at the station, it's gonna have a symbol for everything that can that is co technically connected, right? So like, my bus station down here has a picture of a truck and a bus. So that means buses and trucks share, you know. <clears throat> Cargo at that point. You schedule first time you've had an actual weekend over six years. Jeez, well, enjoy. This way, we'll build a station here by, I guess, our stadium. Unless it's disabled, you connect stations with control when placing, even though they are not touching. Oh! Wait, what? So I guess when you are placing a station down, yeah, you hold control, mm -hmm. and it might allow you to select what station you want to connect it to, even if they aren't touching. Oh. That's pretty cool. All right, we're gonna start in Frinning Hill, I think. <laughs> this is gonna be our end of the line. Stock. One, two, three, bum, 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 five. Bum, bum, bum. How are we going to connect over here? Bridge or tunnel? <laughs> What's up? Oh, uh, well, I'm going to transport alcohol, and the vehicle to do that is an oil tanker that has to be refitted. And I just find it funny that there's like a booze tanker and not just like that they're individually put into barrels. Yeah? Yeah, because the thing I'm delivering it to is called the Cheedsto Barrel and Keg, which are two great options to transport alcohol. But in this one, nah. We're just loading it up into a, a massive keg. <laughs> just one big old keg, huh? Big old keg, yep. Yeah. Well, they're just going to a big kegger. That's fine. 
Hell yeah, brother. No. He's parallel. All the controls and distance from 10 years ago. Yeah, that's impressive. Now, let me get Raptor's nuclear weapons program is quickly outpacing our own, and sanctions have done little to slow this progress. Oh boy, we need to. Bro, I'm gonna transport mm -hmm. alcohol via tanker. <laughs> like, tanker ship. Do you know that? 220,000 liters? Are you kidding me? This is the only way to transport that? All right, that needs to be redone. Two, two hundred via, via ship. Yeah, like I was gonna load it onto a ship and send it up river because you know, a lot the, of kegs. The the town I want to deliver it to is mad at me, so I couldn't. Bu you know, I can't build anything up there. <laughs> the town is mad at me. <laughs> yeah, so I have to you know completely do things completely different. <sighs> I like it when you play with the Dino Guy. Yeah, Dino Guy is Dino Guy. I'm just awesome. gonna, I'm just gonna buy a, a booze tanker. Booze Island tanker. L literally, we're on a booze cruise now. I literally. Hell yeah, brother. Whatever. Send it. All right, we're gonna, just gonna put a platform down. Here, just so it's there. All right, and then we are gonna destroy half of this town. They're gonna love it. I am greatest. All right. I love these steel truss bridges. They look so good. Truss and safety. Mm -hmm. You know this is failing all those checks. This is not OSHA approved at all. How's the game? Great. We're having a lot of fun. Alright. So that's stop number three. Uh, what's another town we should take this through? I guess Xfield. It's one of your towns. Oh yeah, it's a cool... Uh, I like the name of that town. Oh, they got two football stadiums. Oh, that's uh, cleaning ham. <laughs> Glad people are coming up with reasons I should be sinking your tanker of alcohol. You wouldn't want that. It's, 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 it's a weapon of mass destruction. We're going to have to uh, It's loaded with Japanese intercept. whiskey. You can't I'm do that. I'm sending the Coast Guard up there right now to uh, investigate that cargo. Can't do it. No. How to rotate map? I don't even think you can. Can't. Can you? Nope. At least not that I'm aware of. I've never been able to. Must import more booze. Well, you should bring booze down to my Hard Rock Cafe. <laughs> it accepts alcohol. I need you to. You can rotate the map. Okay, explain. And you can do it. Before... Oh, rotate your monitor. Oh, okay. Well. Rotate your monitor. To here. Egg on my face for that one. All right. I need um more orchards. It's 
so many bags of mail. Are right, you moving mail too? Yeah, I added some onto the train. thousand liters of alcohol it's actually possible to ship it that way I can't build a railroad station here because it's owned by Raptoria Transport Co. How dare I own it don't know <laughs> I guess I like how your your little shack of an HQ is just in front of that church. Yeah, I know. That's the church of Raptor. Mm-hmm. That used to be a regular house. Oh, they... Actually, I think I remember messing with each other times, too, where, you, like, we would, uh... You could, like, block, you know, like, waterways by just building, like, a giant dam. Oh, yeah, and you can... Park buses on people's rail lines is pretty fun. Great business techniques. Damn. Well, I only see the one orchard here. Bum, bum, bum. Don't worry, I'll get this rail line up this coast just for you. So much money in this real money. It's not gonna be profitable at all. At least a dollar. tunnel underneath your road here probably that'll be a little less intrusive SimCity 2000s from 93? Mmm... It's from 2000, why would they? I think that's from, uh... 95. Isn't that Windows 95? <laughs> but yeah, you were close. That's good. That's fine. Wikipedia says 93. One, one graph on the other side of their stuff so they don't have to do any of the crazy shenanigans around me. Yeah. Maybe. The GMC new look instead of the old look is here. 58 passengers. What's well, different? Nothing. It's just a new look. Tee hee. <laughs> trying to push Apple products now? Is that what you're trying to do? I guess. Yeah. 
Yeah. No, our, our map is so big, like, me and Raptor didn't even have to build next to each other. Honestly, I could have made the map a lot smaller. Dude, there's so much room. Yeah, but the bigger you make the map, the more opportunities you get for, like, cool little things. You know, like, landscapes. And it's cool to see a high-speed train going that distance. Well, it's cool, too, when you go to, like, the actual map function in the game, and you can see kind of all your connections. Rail networks just kind of laid out. Bum, 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 bum. Class Key, thank you very much for the 15 months as Raptor Plus. Thank you very much for becoming a member. Thanks for all the support. Thanks for all the likes, guys. Thank you very much for all the gift bombs today, too. All sorts of awesome support. Thank you, guys. Wait, wait. I didn't set that correctly. There we go. Oh, wait, did I just go the wrong direction? Yes. <laughs> Forgot where I was going. There we go. Do you know what this place could use? Uh, I don't know. What can it use? Why are they asking yeah. riddles? New member, welcome! Any cool games coming out soon that you're excited for, dude? Me? Mm hmm Uh, yeah, I want to play that Harry Potter game. Yeah, that looks like a fun one. It's been, uh, compared to, uh, Red, Red Dead, but with wizards. Wizards dead? Yeah, got it. Alright, bridge, 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 bridge. Suspension bridge. I wonder how many trains I'm gonna need to run on this thing. Broken Arrow comes out this year. Well, why would you want to buy a Broken Arrow? I want to, like, buy a new one? Well, it reminds me of uh, World in Conflict, really. I think I saw a Bolt Sauce covering Broken Arrow mm -hmm. recently. Yeah, World in Conflict as well. Yeah, I think everybody's hyped about Broken Arrow. It's going to be what we wanted. Uh... Well, it's like uh, that Warno game. You remember Warno? Mm -mm. No, the last game that I played that was like a war sim was probably Steel Division. Yeah, it's like that. Well, no. No, it's more like War Game. Sons of the Forest, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, that's, that's going to be awesome. I actually saw a lot of people playing... Uh, the forest again so I'm probably gonna have to do that f you know before the second one comes out um, hopefully Frostpunk 2 maybe we'll get like a release date or something this year maybe or at least we'll learn more I feel like there's a, yeah, I, I'm, uh, on the channel, Uthos, I want to start doing top 10 videos, or like, you know what I mean, like a countdown video or whatever, not necessarily rating things and saying like, this is good, you know, these, these are the top three best games ever or whatever, but it's just going to be like, hey, here's like five upcoming RTS games that are coming out this year, mostly as an announcement to like, A, they're coming out, B, I know that they're coming out, and C, I'm going to like play them, you know? Yeah, I mean, that way people won't be like, Raptor, are you, you going to play X, Y, and Z? 
Um, yeah. So it like confirms that, and then if somebody didn't even know the game existed, then it's like, hey, if you didn't know, like they're getting a new game. Oh, it's already 1960. Jeez. Mm -hmm. I'm sure flies. All right, the rail line is fully connected. I saw that. Just need to get trains running on it and signals. Wow, that's a long route. You, ah, see, I hate those bridges, man. They look nice, but why do they all look uh, rusty, you know? Oh, ho, ho. that's a really nice bridge. Look at that one. You got a road next to a river and the bridge going over both of them? That's awesome. That's oh, really yeah, cool. that one by, like, right Lacombe. by the Lacombe, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, and you did the one-ways. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it really helps with... Uh... You know, because they can pass each other, and they can use both sides of that cargo station if they both come in. Roll oh, way, I think. right. Good point. So, just increases throughput a little bit. Top 10 worst channel members. Number one, Pacific Blue. Nah, you're the best, dude. Thanks for being here. You guys are the best. Thanks for watching. Bum, 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 bum. How do you act? Wait, I can't activate deactivate. Oh, I see. I thought you could paint. You have to build them. Can you paint over existing? Existing what? Like if you have Stations? a road that no, if you have a road that's not one way and you want to make it one way, can you? Yeah, yeah, you can paint over. Oh, okay. Just draw the road in the direction you want the one way to go. So yeah. Start. And then okay. Drag it over. Yeah, for a train line this long, um, we're not going to worry too much about signals. It's just going to be probably a full train length. I don't know how many trains are going to be on it. Damn that truck in the way. I kind of wish there was a mod to like auto lay signals as you're laying track down. Yeah, it's always good just to come back immediately after, but it's still annoying. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, it's nineteen sixty. That was really we'll be quick. getting gas shortages soon, don't worry. <laughs> End of the year. How much are you making from your uh, stuff? I'll have to look. Your income's like... I'm trying to fix this one-way road. It's being really annoying. You know, the problem with one way is, is you can't mark turns and stuff, though. so they can be a little finicky to get things laid out right. The hell? Control while dragging. <clears throat> oh! What? Wow. Alright. Well, apparently, if you hold control while placing signals, it'll place signals at your specified distance interval until it comes to a junction. So you can just, like, start it, like, two tiles, and it's going to place the whole thing until it turn turns into a junction. Oh, that's nice. That is way better. Oh, my God. Where do you specify that distance? Uh, in the junction menu when you're choosing what junction. Okay. I mean, yeah, ooh, <laughs> ooh. Why, why did it go semaphore?
like, that's weird. <laughs> I mean, it's the same thing, but... <laughs> there, first try. Uh, what's up, James? How you doing, man? Welcome to the Big O stream. Alright, so you want to know how much I'm making now? Yeah, like... Uh, how much per vehicle type? Per vehicle type? Yeah, so if you open up your... For like 1960, I made 335,000 for train, 123,000 for road, and 200,000 for ship. That's just the top four numbers. The top four? So you know your your money balance, like how much money you have. Just click on it, and it'll tell you. Yeah, I see. Finances. It. Yeah, train income sixty, vehicles thirty. Uh huh. And ship is sixty-one. Yeah. Hey, you're making money. Yeah, there's eleven thousand liters of alcohol there, chat. Mm-hmm. We're gonna have to have a talk. Are you falling off the wagon again? Party. Okay. What train do we want to run on this thing? Ooh, okay. Are we the most... It's like the Baltic. Go visit Raptor for the booze? Hey, that's that's a good idea. He's got it all. That's for sure. You know, 464. It's probably pretty good. Yeah, I'm making more of it now. Passengers. You're here for the booze, hand it over. Hey, you can go to the hotel, okay? We're working on transferring it to the party house. The party zone. Choo-choo. You know what I really like about um, Transport Fever, Uthris, is the... Uh, th there's that option for tr Transport Fever 2 where you can slow down how quickly time actually goes. Mm -hmm. Like, you can, you can make real, like... You know, I'm talking about the year times are different from the, you know, so like you can make it the 50s for like 50 years. So you have a long time to like set up train lines in the 50s before technology proceeds. Yeah. I love that option. Well, I really like locking tech almost. Yeah. So like I choose the year that I want to build at, right? And then I... Um... That's a good option. You know, because cause I, just, I just feel like, like well, it's cool to get, like, the new stuff. It's like, well, I, I have built three lines, you know? Like, I kind of would like everything to kind of match, in a way. I got you. It's not enough alcohol. These are rookie numbers. we got to pump that booze number up. Joe Holland in my chat is like. Is this the guy who told you about the control on for yeah, signals? He's basically a god at this game at this point, in my opinion. Thanks, Elmox, for making a fake account to not embarrass me and <laughs> Uthras. <laughs> okay. Let's run it and see how long this thing takes to go the full loop. 
Oh, is this your your new train? Yeah. I think I put a million dollars into <laughs> into this line. So, uh, open TTD series win. What for me? Yeah. Um, I've done a few. Oh, are you gonna do a live stream series? I All have these in nice the past, mods but, now. But um, no, probably not. You know, um, like usually I host for my community and stuff, and we might stream it for a few weeks, kind of deal. But eventually, you know, I just get a little burned out on laying everything out. But you know, if Joe, if Joe has so many tricks on convenience on laying out things, maybe I can keep yeah, telling him more stuff, more. dude. If you yeah. hold if you hold Shift and A, it does. You nothing. win the game. <laughs> it does nothing, but I was just trying to motivate you. But anything's possible, Uther, through the power of Pine Mm-hmm. Uh, this train only goes 100 kilometers an hour with... I might, I might be better dropping off a couple cars. Or I wonder if it's the caboose in mail cars that's causing the speed decrease. Let's see, it's probably the caboose if I had to guess. Uh, the wor worst part about this game is when you you have a fleet of vehicles that are obsolete, and you gotta like retire and switch out with the new. Um, there's a way to auto do that. Oh, good. Because it's. It takes a little bit to set up. Um, you can also re uh, have it auto replace the vehicles when they get old. If oh, you really? Want to like replace them with the new version, but um, yeah. And you can have it set up to where it checks if you have a certain amount of money before it auto replaces. So it's like, if, hey, if I have over for five hundred thousand dollars, start auto replacing vehicles if needed. Wow. Uh, you, you, you missed a stop there, uh, cleaning door. I'm gonna pay off my loan and then probably focus more on fishing. Trying to get more food to those ports, or...? Yeah, I think I have a food ship that's not full every time that it goes up there, so I'm just going to increase the number. I'm making money, though, quite quickly now. So now I can pay back my loan pretty pretty soon. I'm only got a vehicle so you can quickly replace them. Ah. That's a good point. Only $140,000 in debt. Not bad, considering my lavish railroad line that I built. Mm -hmm. It's a very pretty line. It's cool. But I don't like the girder. Girder. Maybe there'll be more options in the future. A very woody word. Girder. Girder. That tinny. Oh, now, now the town... Now, now Dumb Town has built a... A building on top of the old statue. I'm assuming it's a museum. They built a building around the statue for as a museum. Oh yeah. Over at uh, where, where'd you have that at? Uh, Treating treading port. Yeah. Oh yeah, they have a fountain. Yep. Well, you know, at least they're trying to make the plaza look nice. You know, they took they took all that tree money, made a fountain. So we're at the other side of the line. What trains are you using on that? Uh, what train am I using on that? That's a good question. Oh, have you not built one? Oh, I am. I have. <laughs> just... Heading for peeling him a bar and grill. You have a train going to a bar and grill. Yeah, man. 
Could you imagine if we were in Japan and they had a bar, like a, a train stop at a bar and grill? America um, Town Bar and Grill. I'm using a 464 Baltic. Oh, engine. yeah, that's the one I used. That thing does like 177. Yeah, I have a... It's not perfectly flat, and, you know, there's 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 some hills and stuff on my route. So mm -hmm. Maintain that the whole time. And the bridges I have are... have a speed limit on them. I see. Oh, tr Ooh. First passenger is getting loaded. Trading Port built a damn stadium outside of town. Oh, they're cutting out. Oh, now they're cutting down all these trees that I planted. Oh, I'm super mad at you. You owe me quadruple. The stop thing is in the wrong spot. They're working out. Holy hell! I can see all the people standing on your train platform with no co nothing. You got no like nothing over them. No shelter. Oh, um. Well, so you can upgrade it after you place it. So I just place them down. Oh. Just so, and and then I'll go back over and um, you can you decorate can just this. Redraw over the station with station pieces. You don't. Oh. You don't need to get it perfect the first time. I just wanted to get it down before this, the local authority got really, really mad at me. Um, Wait, you can only decorate so many times? No, no, no. It's, ju it's just, if I would have spent a bunch of time decorating it, right? Well, while I'm not servicing the station, oh. the local authority is starting to get angry. And I so, see. There, there are a lot of people waiting at these stations. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Littered with people. It's cool though. So it's a it's a blank like canvas that. for you to decorate. I want to see what. Essentially, you, yeah. I want to see what you do. I'm gonna. I'll check back in a little bit. I want to see. End station is borked. There we go. Fix that. How much alcohol can this? 26, no, 17 tons, okay. All right, so this car holds 17 tons. So, yeah, we, so the first stop made, one. made 40,000. The second stop, we'll see how much that makes. Well, yeah, because the whole city came out to see the, the, the train yeah. for the first time, and they thought they'd ride it. We've been working on this train line for 20 years. It's come, finally here. Come on down. Also, pulling mail. Yeah, the snow's visual. I don't think it has any sort of... There's no uh, other effect to it, is there? Um, I'm sorry, the snow? Um, yeah. yeah, it's just visual, I think. I don't I think, think so. it impacts vehicles or anything, but I could be wrong at this point. But I'm pretty happy. Like, like it's pretty impressive when you go look at some of the valleys in here and how how realistic the height map kind of looks. Like the snow peaks and then terrain looks really good. Uh, yeah, this thing is not bringing me any passengers. Relay has 700 people waiting. Pretty crazy. Ooh, that was cool. I love the style of some of these buildings. Still has 400. Wow. Yeah, some of the um, as we get later in the years, you'll see some of the modded buildings kind of kick in, especially also when we the towns kind of start turning into more cities and stuff. Wow, that sounds so super awesome. Wow. Oh wow, you sound so excited. Wow. Wow. Oh, amazing. Crazy. Like this this building's nice. It's, it's almost kinda got a New York look to it. Yeah, 
screening hill. It's at the very bottom of my massive train line. It's got like some almost New York buildings and then some almost like Chicago Ooh. blocks, in my opinion. Cool apartment like things. Choo choo. All right, train. Profit this year on this one train going just up the line so far is about 200,000. Oh, really? Yeah. How many stops on that line? Uh, a lot. I'm having it stop for maintenance pretty regularly, too. Yeah, chat, we're playing with the 4K mod. <laughs> yeah. I mean, oh, you got you got Space Marines. Chat, if uh, if you're watching this stream and it doesn't look like mind-blowing, like if it looks like SimCity 2000, it just means that you have a bad like whatever you're watching on is bad. Like if you're on an if you're in NASA right now on their supercomputers, they're just bad. NASA needs to step up. Okay, well, the fishing is going well. Is there any uh, oil yet, Uthris? Oil? Yeah. Um. I only see, I only see like shoals and things, and like dredge. I know depending on what industry mod you're using, there are like chemicals and oil and stuff. Like the port makes chemicals. Oh, really? And then that can go to... Well, it's 1962, so I was expecting that we would see it by now. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think this mod pack has uh, specifically oil. Hmm. What I got going on. It's a, it's, it's a little lightly extended, I would say. It's not like a crazy overhaul. Because otherwise, you know, we would have spent an hour just trying to figure out what goes where. Chat. I'm going to pay back my loan today, chat. We're going to do it. I'm going to take out a loan and pay back that loan. Take out 14 credit cards. Roll them dice. And plant a bunch of trees. Like me. Yeah, the station's borked. Screw it up. I need a new cargo type. Got a hotel down there. Glass works. That's probably going to take the dredge. Got some good old dairy. That's good. up unloading and loading yeah if you're if your platform is not long enough for your train it like halves the loading and unloading times it can be a little rough this is correct oh my mean town looks pretty nice now Rowan comp have a football stadium, America. <laughs> a, f a freedom temple. Mm-hmm. 
Really do love these roads, though. I think I think on one of these rooftops, this is either a garden or someone set up like a fake sandy beach, you know? Prepper. It's like a la either lawn chairs on here and a grill. I don't know quite what I'm seeing there, but it's interesting detail. I think every single one of my towns has a temple to America here with these football stadiums. Real football, not soccer, by the way. Even though we're in Eastern Europe. Uh, too bad you can't, like, force the truck station to be a one-way to control the one-way. Like, you have to yeah. do it on the road, not at the station. Yeah, the entrance exit is the important part. Yeah. Sag. So do you have any other train lines than your passenger one? Uh, cargo? no, everything else was too, every, all my cargo is too close and all the, uh, the cities are too small and like too far. Where's, like, uh, where's your, your, at? where's that at? My what? Where's your, uh, tanker full of beer that I need to sink? Oh, that's going to Treadingham or Treadingport. I was going to transport it via truck, but thank God I used tanker. Because there's so much of it. I don't even see that. What? Is it in our same water area, or did you go somewhere else? The tanker is south of Whitstoke right now. I mean, it's called ship number six. Yep. Yeah. It's got it's got four barrels on it, Raptor. What's up with that? Only four. Well, no, it's it's carrying twenty eight thousand liters, but like oh. visually, it's like. It's like carrying four barrels. I guess. Must be big barrels. So the dairy plant makes what? Cheese? Is that what we're thinking? Um, it makes food, but yeah, it'll That's probably be like a cheese or just a milk bottle and plant, in my opinion. Oh, yeah. You know, either or. Yeah, you but know. with the giant smokestack milk it's bottling. Just, well, you know, you gotta pasteurize it, right? I picture that being done at the farm. Mm, I don't think the farmer would have the equipment to just bulk pasteurize their own product. Alright, calling all farmers. I mean, it would depend on how big your farm is, obviously. Well, it's 1962, so yeah, you're probably right. It's probably cheaper to send it to the big facility. That means you'd have to send out trucks all the time, though. You couldn't store it at the farm. Hey, Victoria, how are you? Thank God we had the American hero, Louis Pasteur, who happened to be French, unfortunately. But we still accept him. Under TTD, over TTD, here's a life Have I ever played Kingdoms, the best survival game ever? Kingdoms? I don't think I've heard of Kingdoms before. New train, go. I think we're gonna need 
four trains on this line at least. Yeah, there's a lot of new dairy under construction. You started... Oh, you stored at a farm for a day and then transported. Okay. So it's a little both. Oh, that looks so pretty. What? Um, if you... Let's see, go all the way to, like... Where, where is this? Just the Black Sea. Go to the Black Sea and then look on, like, the north side of it. Like, just the valleys going up through there with the snow. Oh, there. Oh, wow, yeah. Oh, snow's melting. Yeah, it doesn't last very long, does it? It's pretty, though, every time. No, it's just because of how fast the years go through, you know? build some or get ahead of the road development in my town oh really yeah if you uh pre-lay out roads that way they can kind of just leverage it houses a little bit easier oh boy Hey, cool, we're transporting food. <sighs> Annoys me when you buy a truck and it's immediately broken down. <laughs> like, the reliability of it being, you know, 70%. Like, can I get, at least get a day? No. Like, the, the tr tire didn't rotate once until it burst into flame. It's like, come on. Give me a break, pal. Dude, local governments just hate business. It's like, hey, I'm gonna turn. No. Okay. Well, you gotta bring in good business, Raptor. Are you bringing in the good business? Damn it, I'm bringing in food. I'm bringing in booze. All right. That's where my headquarters is. You know, yeah, I'm building a fence around my headquarters to <laughs> to keep the local town out. At least it's not dumb Dumbville in the north. Thank God, I didn't build up there. Funding new building growth in my. All right, I was town. trying to build another parking lot, and they're like, "No, no, we're busy using this empty shoreline for nothing." Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, it's a good park and recreation area. Protected land underneath the statue of Cheetos. Yeah, people are uh, busy sunbathing down by the industrial docks. <laughs> I mean, if it was my hometown, yeah, <laughs> that's what they're gonna, gonna be doing. Oh my God, dude! Why would people be down there doing that? Come on. <laughs> oh, look at all that alcohol, though, chat. Mm. How much has this ship made us? How much has the booze ship made? The booze ship. It's only made 2,000? Wow. Okay. 
high yeah. roller. Apparently booze is like a dollar in this town. Well, you can also see, so there's charts for how profitable certain things are, and then how quickly you have to move it. If I look at delivery cargo graph, or no, uh, cargo payment rates. Where's that? Um, hold left click on the operating graph profit button, and then you can go through the sub ones. And so if I look at alcohol, oh boy, that dropped off quick. Damn it! It's, uh, it starts at 336 in 10 days. But by 200 days, it drops down to 200. So how quickly does your thing loop? You know? I mean, I don't know, but I'm not going to have a high-speed booze train. Like, like someone's going to sip it. Where's our <gasps> high-speed booze this train? This wine is three days old, not two. It's like it would be fruit juice at that point. All right, hold on. Let me look here. Let I don't me look at its timetable here. All right, so you travel. <laughs> uh, it, it stays one day at the docks. It takes 73 days to travel to Treading Port, and then it stays there for one day, and then it takes 77 days to go back to Cheed Style. Man, that name's hard to say. You're saying I gotta buy another booze tanker? Uh, I mean... Yeah, if, if you get all that booze just waiting there at that dock, you know? Alright. Yeah, you might need to pick it up more often. I mean, how much can one boat carry? 220,000. Well, make sure now that you have two boats, make sure it's gonna set and wait until it's full. Can I just alternate? It's a short route. I'm thinking about making a canal between <laughs> Whitstoke, so I can just have a booze canal <laughs> to cook. <laughs> it's like, it's like, well, we used to go around the southern coast of Chile, but uh, the bo the Pina Colada Canal is gonna cut right through <laughs> just to cut the trip down. No, no. <laughs> Are you really making a booze canal? Oh my god. I mean, it sounded like a good idea. <laughs> gonna shave days off oh my god how much how expensive is that oh my god Whit Stokes gonna be pissed oh my god I didn't do it me not you the, the, oh they're mediocre about you what you made their <laughs> city an island you well I guess again it's just it's just more land for them here hold on let me I can I can fix this <laughs> just, uh... the Pina Colada Canal oh my god now it's just a wild land, uh, you know, national park. You just made like a river. I don't know if I can go up that river. You should be able to. I can't believe we made a booze canal. You might have to make a buoy, though. I, I, is that even wide enough to build in? Yeah. No, I, I can't put a buoy in there, though. It has to be a little wider. Okay. Wait, no, I made it. Okay. Well, I'm going to make it wider. There you is go, it, champ. Is there a way to reorganize, like, um, you know, in, in your route? Like, to move them? Yeah, so just, you can drag and drop them in different orders. Oh, okay. okay. Wow. That cost, uh, not as much as you think, honestly. Surprisingly. No, no it's only when you're doing the opposite. Like, when you're reclaiming land. Yeah, that's super expensive. It's like, oh, you're trying to sink this <laughs> continent? Three dollars. Oh, you're trying to build Osaka Airport? Fifty trillion. Like here, how much does it cost to raise one tile? Just hold $60, shift. Sixty thousand dollars. <laughs> that little island that I just made cost sixty thousand dollars. Wow. The the canal each. Each piece that I lowered only cost 900 Wait, I could have actually built a canal, though. Inst instead of you digging that out, isn't there a canal option? There is, but, like, why do that when you can just build a river? <laughs> I don't know. The canal seemed like it would have been more... Wait, I could have built an you aqueduct. You can't go an angle in a canal, though. That's the issue. Oh, so you right. would have had to go over and then up. But, like, this way you get a little bit of an angle. It looks a little bit better, in my opinion. 
the, yeah, the elk, the elk, elk canal. The I like el the canals elk canal. because you can do locks with them, and so if you want to try and get uh, to like a lake area, that's kind of like. I've always wanted to try to use an aqueduct in this game. I gotta tonight when I'm, when I'm getting sleepy, I'm just gonna look at pictures of open TTD like beautiful scenes of people. You know, like what the Dutch do. You get a train line running next to a canal, running next to like a, a lock, and then an aqueduct over a highway. All right. <laughs> okay, they're using it. Yeah, man. That that cut that cut a month off the booze journey. <laughs> Do you know that? Like, did you look at the timetable? No, but I mean, I could just feel it. Let's uh, let's see how that does. They have to kind of do a lap here before the timetable updates. If I had to guess, it probably did save about twenty days. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> until it breaks down. Now I now I feel like I need to build a bridge just to connect those people back. If it pulls into the canal, turns sideways, breaks down, blocks it for a half a year. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> then supply chain issues start building up. Oh yeah. Yeah, it went from 73 days to 58 days. Wow. Oh, you're building them a bridge? Yeah, because they felt bad. <laughs> but then they're going to be pissed, I bet. Like, all well, local oh, yeah, authority you cut hates down you. those beautiful trees. How dare you ruin their canal? <laughs> How dare I connect them back to the mainland and their families? <laughs> they were happy. It's an absolute forest in here. I, I don't even know what to do now. I'm I'm a little burned on ideas. Uh, canal is too fun to do. Let's see. Oh, well, you could do more canals somewhere. Hey, the Hard Rock Cafe now accepts mail. <laughs> 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 Great. Hey, honey, I'm heading down to the Hard Rock Cafe to pick, to pick up our bills. <laughs> wow. Yeah, because there's houses built out here now. All right, well, now there's houses. I can actually get the bus route working. All right, there we go. Once made a triple stack railroad, it was a headache to use, but it looked amazing. Yeah, D doing stuff like that in this game where you overlap bridges and, oh, yeah. and stuff is just mind-blowing on what's, like, the thought process. Yeah, when you, when you see stuff in this game working, it's amazing. Ooh, there's a scenic cruiser. Tell me more, Smiley. <sighs> I want to repay this loan. It's my final goal, chat. Can anyone explain to me how timetables works in this game? I feel like they're super important, but I, I've never figured them out. Because I'm pretty sure you can use it to space out your vehicles at like a constant rate. Ooh, look at the trees. Yeah, chat, how do timetables work for buses and tr 
Train the trains get it too. Everything gets a timetable, yeah. Yeah, if you click on your route at the top right corner is the timetable. Like, you can set it to where, okay, it goes here, and then it waits three days. And then you kind of just know the spacing, I think, and then you set each stop. Oh. That way they won't, like, just blast their way through, right? So, like, if the bus station has no one there, and you don't, and I'm, I don't want it to wait until a full load, but, like, I want it to wait just a little bit. I can be like, okay, wait three days. No, that kind of Man, the ports look so good. Set that to four days just to see what it does. <laughs> what a weird house. This guy's got like streets on all sides of his house. Actually, so do most of these houses. And I would probably have to group my vehicles so the timetable affects the whole group, I guess? Maybe? This bus looks so weird. Oh, baby. Almost ready to pay that loan off, chat. No transfer. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. I've never used time tables. What I do is always a pain in the backside. Okay. Well, if Joe says it's a pain. Times tables are a pain. I think they're worth it, just like grouping vehicles and stuff, but like for just efficiency's sake and everything, but nah. Right, I, need, I need to transfer everyone to the Hard Rock Cafe. Alright. little puff of smoke out of the alcohol factory every once in a while. Puff. <laughs> Poof. Like what? Did it, did another pope die? Oh, there it goes. <sighs> yeah, it looks like a lot of you guys are coming in and saying you remember this and that it's a good game and lots of fun I, yeah a game doesn't have to look uh, mind-bogglingly beautiful to be fun however i will say that games like transport fever create some really interesting situations with the terrain this one you mostly just flatten things out or like go under or just go over you, you either bri bridge over something or tunnel under something but in transport fever you can kind of like use canals a little bit more kind of my thing with Transport Fever is, like, I feel like it's, uh, it fights you a little bit more. Like, this is a little bit more simplistic, so it's a little bit easier to do what you want to do. I agree. I have paid off my loan. There you go. I now have a company value. And I'm immediately tempted to take out a loan to do other things. Mm. That makes sense, Joe. Bump, 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 bump. All right, well, if I look at our profit graph comparison for the year, Dino Guy, uh... Yeah, you're not doing so well. It's a, it's a, narrow, it's a narrow loss. It's a, it's a Pyrrhic victory.
Is that was the train line really worth it for you? Did it, is it doing good? Um, so those trains, my passenger trains, each are making about fifty thousand a year, on average. Yeah. Which is fine. I have three of them, right? So it's one hundred fifty thousand. Money wise, I make what seven hundred fifty-two thousand on just trains. Now the rail maintenance. My That's a doozy. Maintenance. My running costs on trains is two hundred thousand. Wow. My property maintenance. It's actually only twenty four thousand. That's not that bad. Nothing. Jeez, there's some ma there's some massive territory here with no nothing in it at all. That's cool. That that makes like high speed lines interesting. Yeah. And this is, surprisingly, we're set to low, t very low towns in terms of, like, how many towns there are and oh, very really? low industries. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Oh, 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 really? It seems like it was, like, on medium. Actually, this is, we this might is be the on right low on, on them. But, um, yeah, I, I, I like having some space. Oh, that's the case. I, I had, like, three or four industries that were, like, next to each other that I'm just using trucks because it's, like, trains is not going to do it. And then to ship things to the dogs. Well, my big thing is um, when I get like super serious, it's, it's all about taking it to a depot that's close to the towns, and then that depot via trucks kind of finishes the route. Yeah, that's a good um, way. Yeah, refineries are prop. Uh, we don't. I haven't seen oil at all. Yeah, we don't have oil. On maybe, the maybe it's starting now. Who the hell built a, do a depot in the middle? It's weird. Oh, maintenance bay. Yeah, the cargo payment graph... Oil doesn't exist. Really? Yeah. So that's just not a resource we have? Not in our current... Yeah, grouping trains and stuff definitely helps. Um, luckily, like I don't have like a crazy amount. I only have about eight. Let's get a bus route set up over here. So we have steel, scrap metal, sand, livestock, milk, iron ore, goods, fruit, food, farm, su farm supplies. What's that? Farm supplies? You take it to a farm and it increases the output of that farm. Where do you, oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that'd a be... lot of industries that do that. So, so supplies. So there's a thing called gung-ho production. Um, so if I look at my farm, for enhanced production, it needs 16 crates of supplies at least once every three months. So the supplies so can... are boosters for those industries. Mm-hmm. So it works for engineering, a train mining, and farming. Okay. What's the most profitable item right now? Milk? Um, we don't have banks yet, which is kind of surprising. Gold usually does well. If that's even in the game, I don't know. Um, cargo payment rates. It looks like engineering supply is the... Yeah. But, and alcohol. no matter what, it looks like goods, no matter the time, right? If it, if it takes forever to get there, goods pays the most. Right. Yep. So there's, there's quick delivery, what pays the most there, and then, you know, over True. time. So I feel like goods and, what is that? Alcohol are actually... Hell yeah, the booze Good. cruise. Hell yeah. I just need to, like, diversify. Yeah. Like, more booze. More booze. Just diversify the... timetable again. Let's just get the final... Steam era? I don't know. It's 1964. I don't know. Uthus is using a lot of mods. So it may have... <laughs> we're, we're using, like... That's a lot. No. 
That's more than one. Well, you don't you don't mod many of your games ever. Mm, no. You're well, usually playing War. vanilla on everything. Mm, well, light mods like City Skylines and Metal War. War game. What do you use for City Skylines? Move it. The basic stuff, yeah. I don't think I've ever actually seen you use Move It though. I have. Oh. Yeah, a lot. Really. Yeah, I've been building a city to build like a rocket site. In the last five streams, I've been using. I, I use it <clears throat> usually when I um. The last couple of times that a DLC has come out, it's broken the mod, so I just turn them off. Mm -hmm. Like it, it didn't work with the pedestrian mod for a while, and there was like a big warning about it for some reason. What's the pedestrian so mod? It makes pedestrian mod. It's like parks, but more downtown. You know, like the. It's like no cars. Okay. Sorry, the pedestrian DLC. It's called, uh, what is it, uh, promenades or whatever. But anyway, it's yeah. like, you know, it's pedestrian like malls. It's like and stuff like that. And so, um, it was broken for a little while. But I, li I like uh, mods, but just not, they gotta work, that's why the move it mod's good. They gotta work quickly and easily and do a lot with, like, little effort. Because I've seen people on, like, Twitch streams before moderate or modify the whole, uh, like, Skyrim. Install, like, mm -hmm. seven million, like, take two days to mod Skyrim, then play it for, like, four hours, and then, <laughs> and then they're done. But that's fun, getting all that stuff to work, you know. Uh, I think, I think I use about 200 mods on Skyrim. Only? Oh, a light mod. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a light modding one, you know. Light modding. For Skyrim, there's something right? For sure. <laughs> the things we do to try and improve a 15-year-old game. 15? It'll be 30 in the next couple of years. Yeah, they'll release the 30th anniversary edition soon. Indeed. All right, chat, I'm going to be back in 30 minutes with Uthras for Scrap Mechanic. Thank you very much uh, for joining us. You can find Uthras, exclamation point Uthras, if you want to see more open TTD or any other uh, modded game speaking of mods been doing a modded run of vintage story which is like minecraft but caveman all the way to age of steel which is really interesting uh but we'll be back with more with him and lumberjack and hopefully some other people in about 30 minutes for scrap mechanic I haven't played that one in like a year and a half or so so we'll check out what's new in the survival uh mode all right Uthris, i'll see you in a little bit my man all right man bye bye